first to reduce the e-levy rate from 1.5 to 1 percent, and second to remove the daily threshold of 100 cities. Mr. Speaker, we in the minority had indicated strongly that we do not believe that the 100 cities threshold must be removed. Mr. Speaker, because of a number of reasons. The first is because, Mr. Speaker, the 100 CD threshold, the 100 CD threshold is to one, protect the vulnerable and to, and to protect them from paying taxes on electronic transfer. However, Mr. Speaker, it is also important for us to understand that the electronic levy, the e-levy itself, at the time they introduced the 100 cities exemption as a threshold, the currency, for, um, the, the value of the 100 cities from the time they introduced the tax to today has been eroded. Mr. Speaker, if you are to use the deflator, the inflation deflator to adjust, it is obvious to know that the 100 cities then, the value of 100 cities at the time, in today's time, is about 40 something Ghana cities. So clearly, I do not see why the ministry will have to remove this. Mr. Speaker, what the ministry has done is that they have listened, and in presenting the e-levy bill, Mr. Speaker, clearly they have decided to remove what they had intended to exclude. Mr. Speaker, it is important for us to commend them, for at the minimum they have listened. Mr. Speaker, but you see, the other point had to do with the fact that they are reducing the rate to 1%. Mr. Speaker, our position is that this tax must be removed completely. But since we have not been able to achieve that position, and government has said that they want to reduce it from 1.5 to 1 percent, it's our prayer that next year again they reduce it to 0 0.5. And the following year, in the year 2025, we will completely abolish it completely.